Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, Witches series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there, uh, oils, um, fragrances, incense, etc. etc. It's absolutely lovely, and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles, making candles at home or buying them scented and colored, and we go into discussion about that as well. That is with Tracy uh, Castledine. Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Gemini. Um, I've got the cat here, Matis. She's sitting next to your cards. So I think that does mean something significant. She only does this with Sagittarius. So she's here. She's um, watching over the cards. Okay. We start off with the uh, Queen of Cups. So there could be a lady coming in that's um, a Scorpio. Don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. That will bring in an offer or will bring in some news. It could be something nurturing, caring news or advice. She's like a mother figure. She's She stands for love, passion, nurturing, caring. So there could be a Scorpio coming in that will be quite nurturing towards you or gives you some motherly advice. Whether you're a woman or a man, you could be meeting this person and this person could be also very psychic or very intuitive as it is the Queen of Cups and that stands for psychic abilities and emotions. She could be bringing you news, like I said, motherly advice as well, um, as we have the um, uh, Knight of Swords in the middle. Okay, she, he's got his back towards her. Perhaps you might have expected news from a man, and you got it from a woman instead. This could be traditional news, official news. Um, there could also be an invitation perhaps an invitation to a wedding or an inf uh, or an invitation to an emotional meeting as the night stands for uh, news and like also official news okay this could be a meeting uh, with regards to uh, money as we have the nine of pentacles lying next to it or rather overlapping it it's lying on the knight of swords so there could be official news coming to you there could be a job offer from a lady that has a business and this could be cyber news text email or a telephone call um, with regards to money um, endings to difficult financial difficult issues or something quite practical as the pentacles stand for practicalities or perhaps a news on an investment that you made okay perhaps you applied for a job and it is a lady that uh, like I said has the business or is running the business as a manageress and she's sending you an official email saying uh, will you come in uh, to discuss the job and the money situation because we think that you are worth much more that you're a nurturing type of person and therefore we would love to have you in the business but we need to discuss on a proper salary okay then we go on to the next level and that is like you can see it as Monday this is um, a nurturing woman taking time out but I'm not doing the cards like that this week I'm literally trying to make a film so perhaps you have been taking time out uh, waiting for this because uh, for means uh, rest uh, stability uh, perhaps you want uh, you've got this news and you want time out to think about it to meditate on it or contemplate on it and to evaluate because you've learned from the past to be caring but not to let anybody walk all over you because these are quite nurturing and uh, soft um, em people the uh, the uh, the water people but um, 
like I find personally Scorpio, that's the Queen of Pentacles, they tend to crawl back into a little, little shell. They don't want to uh, be sharp and uh, because once you have an argument with a Scorpio, boom, you've got the sting finished. Okay, so you want to be very careful and um, you want to crawl back into your little shell, Gemini, uh, for the time being to evaluate the situation. Okay, um, something I feel something needs to be more plausible um, so that it can be steady and that it can be built on proper foundations because the four of ones is proper foundations and that is exactly what you need stability guarantees as much as possible there's no guarantee in life I know but you can make sure that you think about things and that you don't make the same mistakes as in the past so take time out um, on this invitation or this offer that is coming towards you now if it is with regards to a love offer um, because the Queen we all have feminine and masculine within us this could be a curtain um, a man coming in with a very very strong nurturing side somebody that has a uh, that is really nurturing and strong is the f feminine uh, side of him coming out okay so you could be meeting also a very nurturing a caring um, water sign Scorpio okay Gemini so take time out if you have been hooked up before and it didn't work out then take good time to think about it because the Four of Swords means meditation, contemplation, evaluation, or perhaps take a break. Perhaps, you, like I said, you might get an invite to take a short break. It's not a hol holiday card, it's only an advisory card uh, for taking a break. Okay, my darlings. Um, now, let's have a look. Um, this could be with the Queen of Staves. So that can be with a Leo. Perhaps a Leo might be sending you news. Okay, like I said, it can be a man, um, but with a feminine side to it, a nurturing side. So this could be a news coming to you this week with regards to money from uh, a Leo because the Queen of Pentacles is Leo. So if it is a man, it could be a Leo, but he could also be extra nurturing. Okay. He might even suggest, why don't you come uh, with me on a short trip? Wow. This is really magical. Okay, but don't exclude... Um, Sagittarius or Aries either perhaps uh, you might receive news from a fire sign saying I'm going to come and stay with you is that all right because look at the break it could be them okay I need some lo tender love and care okay let's have a look What else? Oh, well, she is um, the the Queen of Wands, is a determined lady, and she knows what she wants. Uh, sh it could be somebody from work saying, "You've got a promotion." This could be your manageress saying, "You have worked so well that we would like to promote you, and you're getting a raise." Okay, so you're being recognised. Wow, and here you are, you saw me shaking the cards. This is you rising from the ashes. Yeah! <laughs> I know I go mad sometimes, but that's me. Do you see this? This could be you coming into action, rising from the ashes. Let's have a look. Okay, so there could be an offer. Uh, a news there could be an offer 
um, but uh, with regards to money but I think you're going to take your time uh, out to think about it about this news that you're going to uh, receive this could be official uh, news like I said because you've got the uh, Knight of uh, Swords and it could be that you action work could be related to work it could be about a pay rise it could be uh, something might have happened at work um, uh, you might have been made redundant and uh, you got judicial advice and um, you're getting your redundancy money or some kind of settlement and you are rising from the ashes you're spreading your wings again you might have gone to a job interview and you're getting your answer Ooh. and I've got a feeling you're going to get new a new job either in something that is uh, practical and uh, working with your hands or something in the health sector that could be literally hands-on as a nurse okay there you are she's looking at the cards <laughs> I love this cat I love you you're a good cat she's magical she really is okay so you the uh, uh, Phoenix rising from the ashes is the judgment card okay judgment will be passed okay so official news like I said so you will have victory you can have a new beginning or a second chance okay and one of the other uh, signs had that as well and um, like uh, people are losing their work so now you will get new work or the company might have uh, w went into bankruptcy but starting up again this could be your company as well because um, and you might be getting a settlement and I feel there is a promotion in the air for some of you now we have the Emperor on the on for the overall card okay you saw me shaking them and the Emperor it means that that is could be somebody official from an institution or a municipality um, like I said an institution could be the union uh, that acted on your behalf somebody an advisor this could also be a legalities this could be an, an a lawyer uh, that helped you to get your settlement um, something official okay so I said something official but we haven't got the king of swords here or the emperor or the hierophant but he came out whilst I was shaking and nattering on and on and on about this spread your wings the judgment card so yes or you might be see you have sought advice and you've got your victory good on you Jemmy Jem Gems I love these cards I love the everyday witch card but I, I, the, at the moment the transparent one is my favorite I love my pagan decks as well but really the transparent is really my favorite now I'm going to get a card from the TLC deck I'm a bit stiff well I'll take the top one because I shook them three times a day away from it all that's the number four of swords and I whilst I've been busy reading doing the reading I I thought the, the six of swords would come out because that's with a boat because I was seeing a boat today is yours and tomorrow is coming as it will yesterday is complete with all its learning and lessons like I said learn from the past evaluate you can rest now and embody this moment's embrace feel yourself supported by it as you ste step away from your daily tasks give your full attention to your body 
mind and soul while infusing each moment with thoughtfulness around your true needs. Let your soul rest from the myriad of voices, so don't listen to the gossip or too much advice, that are vying, uh, vying for your attention. Be still, return to nature and share the silence like the two old trusted friends who by just being together well you're gem uh, no you're not yes you're gemini so the two best friends that's your you and your dark side okay be still return to nature and share the silence like two old trusted friends who by just being together that's the um, nature and yourself but it could also be in your case Gemini both of you coming to one you're getting balance you're getting peace soothe each other's tired hearts yes Re and that's meditation huh? that's the four of swords renewed and strengthened by your time away joy will return and within with it the clarity and energy that is naturally within you there you go. So take a day out, that's the Four of Swords, or meditate, and, or contemplate. Grab a cup of coffee, put on some beautiful soft music, and just dream away. Dream that you're in the boat, just drifting and gliding, and answers will come to you. Clarity will come to you. Clarity will prevail for you. Wow, I love it. I hope you do too and i hope you have a beautiful week ahead my darlings take care and i love you take care please like and share be blessed mm -hmm.